Club. I wonder what it's gonna be. Hmm. Boy, oh boy. An oil dowser? Just point and follow. Your oil dowsing gizmo will find oil anywhere. I'm gonna be red. Sure, my motor oil, you crazy woodpecker. Now take your silly stick and... Hey! No! Doinky. Not my Swedish cooking oil. We gotta get out of here, man. We're covered in oil. <laughs> What's it doing? It's looking for more oil. And when it finds some real Texas crude, I'm gonna be rolling in dough. Ooh, it's for that kind of oil. Let me add that stick. It's mine! <laughs> it's going after the cod liver oil. Come back! Taxi! Follow that stick. Make a deal with you. Yeah, what kind of sneaky woodpecker deal is this? Nothing sneaky. Tell you what I'm gonna do. You help me get that dowser, and we'll split everything 50 50. Hmm. Okay. It's a deal. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> Come here, my little dowsing stick. Look what Uncle Wally's got for you. Oof. Don't worry, Wally. You'll be packed and ready to go in no time. See ya. <laughs> what kind of partner cans his other partner? Mr. Greedy Pants. What's mine is yours. And yours is mine. <laughs> Wally, look! Wally, there's oil down there! 
<laughs> there must be oil on my property. It's clearly on my side of the property, bub. Ten feet by, mm, 20 yards. By Yingo. This satellite proves it. The oil is definitely on my property. I'll dig on my side, and you can dig on yours. Oh, haven't I just had enough of your shenanigans? <laughs> he hit something, yeah? Yeah. Stand back. But ah! arrest them both. What did we do? Oh, not much. You just busted into my company's oil pipeline, blew out about a truckload of oil, creating an environmental hazard. Is that enough? This is all your fault, Woodpecker. My then fault. I get Don't my give me that. Package for three seven two five five seven six. Oh boy, it's from the Golden Gizmo Club, Wally. How to turn rocks into gold? Oh no, you don't. Haven't you learned your lesson? Hey, quit it, quit it. I'll share with you, Wally. Out you go, silly little woodpecker. Enough with the funny. I need to have my sleep. Poor little woodpecker. He has fallen from his nest. Nighty night, woodpecker. <laughs> Looks like we're both up, huh? Oh well, I might as well have a late night snack. Oh, let's see. There's cheese, and ham, and pickles, and tomatoes, and a little bit of onion. Oh, joy. I just can't wait to sink my tusks into this sandwich. <gasps> Who? What? Where's the... But... Hmm. I don't even remember eating all that stuff. Ooh. I better get some sleep. My mind is going all kerplunky. <laughs> At a boy, come and get it.
Who is yingling my bell? Night mailman. I don't know of any night mail. Special delivery. Yumpin' Jupiter, just what I need. Like a boat more than a fjord. <laughs> no more sleepless nights for me, Woodpecker. <sighs> Some Virdo digging up my lawn. No, I don't know who it is. Just come and get them out of here. Hmm. Hmm. What is going on here? Aha. Food baker. So you're the weirdo trench digger. All right, buddy, let's go downtown. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Uh, at least it's nice and quiet here. I can be getting the rest I need. By me. <laughs> Be seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand? All I got is seventy-five bucks. That's only enough to send your luggage. Then uh, just send my suitcase, bub. Here's your hmm, tourists. No way to travel. Which way to first class? Now this is how a woodpecker was meant to fly. Hello. <gasps> Welcome to paradise in the skies. Whoa. Are you flying on business today? Oh, no. I'm on vacation. And, uh, call me Woody. <laughs> you are so cute! 
Then, Vilad, would you like a tour of my home island? Yeah? Oh, yeah. And uh, while we're in the air, how's about you give me a tour of that buffet over there? <sighs> this is the life. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Oh, Inga, my most favorite flight attendant in the whole world. Look what I bought for you. <laughs> Woody, my little Woodla, there are you. Don't be gone long, Inga. <laughs> For the chocolates, bub. But Inga's my first class date, so hands off. Look what I got for you, Inga. Oh, Woody, how nice. Yeah, they just had you written all over them. Why that no good, Inga thief? Whoa! Passengers, please buckle your seatbelts. We are proceeding to take off. <laughs> My woodpecker. <laughs> Didn't you hear, tourist? Passengers to your seat. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm from first class. Ask Inga. Inga! My biggest rule in tourist class is shut your yap unless you're eating chicken or fish. Do I look like I have all day? Get me the fish. Ha! This is Taurus class. Get it yourself, Woodpecker. Hiya, buddy. Gonna eat that? Sure. Knock yourself out, bub. <laughs> I gotta get back to first class. Uh, this is the captain speaking. Would flight attendant Inga please come to the flight deck? Inga to the flight deck, please. Ready to log some frequent suspender miles, bub? Whoa! <laughs> That's no good, Woodpecker. I'll... I'll... Oof. I'll... Freeze! Just where do you think you're going, tourist? Trying to sneak into first class? Um, uh, no. Uh, why would I even... Um, a beautiful attendant like you is right here with me. Oh, 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 oh my! Well, you know, you don't have to go to first class to be treated like first class, Escargot. Oh, yuck. I mean, yoy. You bet. But, uh, mm, I will need something to wash them down with. You just sit right there, my big pumpernickel. Back in a jiff. Woodpecker. <laughs> Would attendant Inga please come to the flight deck at once? Yeah, your bed. Now I fix that woodpecker. <laughs> oh, Woody, meet me in the flight attendant's lounge? Yeah. Flight attendant's lounge? He's right there, woodpecker. Just you and me, Inga. No, Inga! Oh, what have I done? Oof! I want to live! Don't worry, Walrus. Our love was meant to live! My hero! We're together now and never have to fly solo again! <laughs> oh, Voodla, 
come to a term in Polynesia. Now this is a vacation. <laughs> Sports fans, and welcome to the opening of the Antarctic Games, sponsored by Mama Dulap's Old Fashioned Chocolate. The chocolates are burned by four out of five hungry penguins. Mama Dulap invites you to join us at the extreme sporting event of the century. We guarantee plenty of excitement, food, thrills, food, and most of all, food. Tickets go on sale, well, right now. I just love being the official head of security for these here Antarctic Games. I'm sworn to keep all riffraff off of these premises. Hmm, what have we here? It looks like I've corralled me a penguin of the gate-crashing persuasion. Well, I'm escorting you from the premises. <laughs> Guard rule number one, always be leery of the tuxedo wearers. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> hmm, this here ice is mighty cold on the lower lumbar. You pull over now so as I can under arrest you. It looks like we have a couple of late entries in the ice skating competition, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, what style that big fella has. What a left hook that little fella has. <laughs> Now I got you, you little... Ow! That smarts. That smart Alec bird is definitely skating on your proverbial thin ice. <laughs> but there ain't a penguin alive who can outsmart a minimum wage security officer. Except maybe this one. performance we have a new gold medal winner and now in the mama dewlaps antarctic games tradition the winner of every event gets a meal at the table of champions <laughs> no gate crasher is gonna be outsmarting me hmm Needs a tad more salt. Hold on one ice-picking minute. This is the law of talking. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but water will not hurt me. <gasps> Unless it has been modified to solid form. Hold it where you are. There ain't a gate crasher alive who can get away from me. <laughs> what style? What a landing. That'll probably cause what we in the guard business call a boo-boo. You know what? My boo-boo smarts. What an amazing run! This surprise contestant has won his second event of the game. And he's wasting no time heading to the table of champions to celebrate. All right, gate crasher, hand over that drumstick. Ouch! Chili Willie has come out of nowhere to 
take the lead in the 100 mile ice gliding race. All right, you pull over. Huh? <laughs> that there is the oldest trick in the book. Yep, sometimes it takes a while, but I always prove I'm twice as smart as everyone says I think I am. <laughs> You don't see these great white polar sharks very often. We're 50 miles into the race, and Chili's still in first place. We're less than 100 yards from the finish line, and it's still anyone's race. When I catch this law-breaking icebreaker, he's going to chill in the cooler for a long while. This is what we in the business call a hot pursuit. They don't get any hotter than this. Amazing! Chili has won three gold medals in one day. And now he's enjoying his third meal at the Table of Champions. <laughs> I did my job. I may be tired, but it's a good kind of tired. Well, the Antarctic Games may be over, but you can enjoy Mama Dulap's old-fashioned chocolate all year long. Remember, it's a gold medal treat. Take a trip somewhere. How's about taking a trip somewhere? Somewhere? That's right, chum. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Buzz Buzzard, scientist, PhD, MD, I O U. And this here is my esteemed colleague, Professor Tweaky the Wacky, E I E I O. We would like to offer you a trip no travel agency can provide. A trip back in time. Yeah, we'll take you anywhere in time for, say, a hundred bucks? Nightly times. Prehistorical times. Space times. Cowboy times. Slap some chaps on me and call me Pappy. We're going to the Old West. Partner. What do I get to do once I'm there, partner? Well, uh, uh, do? Why, uh, One-Eyed Jack, baddest Don Braid there ever was, is gonna rob a bank. And you get to try and capture him for the reward. What are we waiting for? We are now traveling through time. Quick. Give me one western town, Tweaky. That's the Titanic sinking! Ooh, we're back in the Ice Age now. Watch out for the mastodons! Whoa! Look out for the stock market crash! Welcome to the Wild Wet. I mean, West. Towel fee, 20 bucks. Are towels not included? I'm afraid everything is a la cash. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't wait to capture... Huh? Well, I'll be hogtied. I'm gonna capture a bad guy, all right. It won't be one-eyed Jack. But first, I'll make those two vermits wish they'd never met Sheriff Woody. Hey there, sod busters. You got any idea where a dude can get a fast horse in this town? 
One fast horse coming right up, Sheriff. Oh, hey! Why do I gotta be the horse? Just get out there, and when it gets on you, like this... <laughs> oh! There's discomfort. You start bucking. The faster you dump him, the faster he'll want something else we can stick him for. <laughs> One horse, 50 bucks. Tunes is what the Old West is practically known for. So, you distract him with your charm and disgrace. Then, I'll shove him into the player piano, grab his wallet, and we'll get out of this cowboy con. There's just one problem. What's that? Well, this bonnet clashes with these shoes. Get out there. You must be the new sheriff. Play me something fast and lively. Trap to capture that boy and take his wallet once and for all time. I'm way too good at this. <laughs> <laughs> See that big X? That's where I buried the dynamite. <laughs> And when the woodpecker gets there, I let him have it a lot. Oh, I got it, boss. Hey, woodpecker, this here town ain't big enough for the both of us. I thought exactly, one-eyed Jack. You ain't exactly the shiniest lure in the tackle box, are you, Woodpecker? Now, Tweaky! <laughs> nice job, Woodpecker. We've been after these two for a long time. I guess it's true what they say, officer. Time doesn't pay. <laughs> Do it. This woodpecker runs on high octane skill. Time to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of guy I've been looking for. Hey, what's the big idea? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, I like your response. Yes, you'll do. I'll do what? Mr. Woodpecker, how would you like to make a million dollars? A million bucks? Where do I sign? 
Pazzy Motorcycles is proud to make you its new spokesman. And you get to ride that in the big race today. Wowee! Oh, Tweaky will never have to scam again. Not after my new motocross Perotoge snags that million dollar contract. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, who's your new Perotoge, <laughs> boss? Well, duh. It's you, Nitwit. But first, we've got to get rid of that woodpecker. Whoa. Bellissimo. Well, hello there, chump. I mean the chump. I'm Ansel Buzzard, Snazzy Cycles Photographer of the Stars. I'm Woody Woodpecker, soon to be millionaire and owner of this cool bike. Oh, good, good. Well, I'm here to shoot you. I need to, that is, shoot your picture for Snazzy's big billboards. <laughs> Tilt your head back. I want to expose, I mean to see your chin. Like this? That's perfect. Now watch out for the little baby. Oh, a lucky penny. Ah! What was that? Ah, probably some of your adoring motor psycho fans. Uh, let's move out of the limelight, shall we? I think I might hurt you. Oh, Mr. Woodpecker, we're ready for you on the photo set. Hey, are you sure you're a photographer of the stars? Oh, but of course. I shot them all. Ursa Minor, Canis Major, surely you've heard of them. Uh, yeah, surely. Now ride straight up that hill and we'll myrtleize you. I mean, we'll immortalize you. Uh, film is forever. Unlike woodpeckers who are done for. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Something about the flesh. Hey, there was no film in that camera. What the heck's going on around here, bub? Uh, I must have forgot to load the film. Yeah, we'll get it right next time. This is the last shot. If you don't get me this time, I'm leaving for the race. I'll get you this time. Uh, see? Film! <laughs> This quick dry and cement was pure genius, Tweaky. Now we'll get rid of this blockhead once and for all. He sure is happy for a little guy, boss. Now to dump him off the cliff and make you the Snazzy Cycles poster boy. Wow. So, thought you could get rid of me and take my million bucks, eh? Uh, no, pal. It was nothing like you think. It was all a misunderstanding. Yeah. The race is about to begin. All entrance to the starting line. So long, suckers. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll give them explosive, all right. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, then we'll get what's coming to us. Right, boss? The million buck contract. <laughs> oh, try to fire me, will ya? your name again. I can't seem to find you in Who's Who. You're definitely not of the Great Northern Flicker Woodpeckers. Are you sure you're not of the Hampton Woodpeckers? One of the oldest families in the city? They eat here all the time. I don't know. I'm just a common woodpecker. Look, I brought my money. Can't I just eat something? I'm starving. Let's see. Common woodpecker. It's got to be in here somewhere. Common woodpecker, common woodpecker, common... Common woodpecker? Shave only doesn't serve anything or anyone common. <coughs> Imagine that, a common woodpecker trying to eat a shave only. Hmm. Enough, huh? Wow! Did you see that? <laughs> I say, is that who I think it is? Oh, yes! It's Lord Crinkle! You mean the Lord Crinkle? Yeah, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous polo player. The famous rich polo player. Rich! Get it? Yomping Yiminy. It's Lord Crinkle, the famous rich polo player. <laughs> Lord Crinkle here. That's Lord Crinkle of the Oxford Crinkles. Uh, do be good and give us a menu. There's a good chap. My, you're thin for a maitre d'. Uh, Lord Crinkle, I'm over here. Huh? Did somebody say something? <laughs> uh, who said that? I did, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Over here, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Where? Where? Who is this? No, now stay still, whoever you are. <laughs> Lord Crinkle, can I show you to a table? Uh, a table? What are you doing down there? How do you expect to run a restaurant from the floor? Please, Lord Crinkle, let me show you to a table. A table? Oh, no, 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 dear boy, I couldn't do that. I'm here to scout out the restaurant for the Duke. The Duke? Yes, the Duke. He'll be here in a minute. Good evening, uh, Mr. Duke. Is this restaurant clean? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's clean. We'll see about that. Fork? Look at this filth. Now clean that fork. I think it's clean now, Duke. Still dirty. I've got it this time. Like this? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Her Royal Majesty, the Queen! The Queen? The Queen! Here comes the Queen! Oh, royalty! Big money! Ooh, the queen! Ah! 
Welcome to Shave Oli, Your Majesty. Ooh, you may kiss my hand. Now you may kiss the royal foot. should be grateful that you are one of the select few who has kissed the royal foot. Um, have you food? <laughs> have you any more food? <laughs> Mr. Walrus. Appetizer? That was an appetizer? Uh, yes. I'll be ready for my dinner after I pay you the proper respects. Mr. Walrus, you may kneel. Kneel? You mean... <clears throat> knighthood? Your Majesty. I dub thee Sir Sweat of Walrus. I'm ready for my second course now. <coughs> Why, you woodpecker! <laughs> <laughs> I dub you the freeloader. <laughs> I dub you Sir Mooch. <laughs> I dub you Sir Loop. I dub you Sir Slacker! <laughs> Space Cadet not yet the Space Cadet Splinter! Come in, Splinter! I have the killer asteroid in sight! Roger that, Cadet Nodhead! We have to do something before it destroys the Earth! My Zack Zobar East Alien Hunter Fomerang should do the job! Yay! We saved the Earth! Uh-oh! Ah! B! Come on, kids! Ah! <sighs> There's only so many space missions one uncle can take. This is not gonna go on all summer, I can tell you that. Maybe you could send us to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp, Uncle Woody. Do you have any idea what summer camp costs these days? <laughs> 300 bucks a week? Can we go, Uncle Woody? Please, please, please? Can we, can we? Well, what do you know? I have exactly $45. Only enough to send your beaks to that camp. Perfect. 45 bucks is all I need. <laughs> then I'll have enough to go to Bora Bora. Well, hello there, sucker. I mean, sir. Looking to send the little ones off to camp this summer? You bet. Well, at Camp Buzzard, we train youngsters to be fine, upstanding Buzzard Scouts. Uh, space Cadets. I've never heard of Camp Buzzard. What do kids do at this camp anyway? Is it expensive? There's overhead, room and board, luxury tax, equestrian fee, and you always have to consider the end. About 50 bucks. But we're having a deal this week only. Two for 45. 45 bucks? Sold! Counselor Buzz, they're all yours. Welcome to Camp Buzzard, kids. Gee, it doesn't look like much. This is an exact replica of Planet Junko-Rama. Really? Cool. Do we get camp nicknames like they do at Zack Zobar's camp? Eh, uh, nicknames? Uh, sure. You'll be 102373, and you can be 102374. That was my old nickname at camp. What kind of camps have you been to? 
I went to uh, Camp Folsom. I mean Camp Alcatraz. Uh, I mean Camp Pokey. Yeah, Camp Hokey Pokey. Now go play. <coughs> Bora Bora, here I come. We're Bora Bored! We came here to be space cadets! Huh? Oh, sure! In order to be space cadets, you gotta earn a bunch of merit badges. Here, this is for your weightless training merit badge. What are those? Anti-gravity boots? Yeah, they belong to my favorite auntie, Gravity. Wait! What about seatbelts? What about navigational equipment? How will we know where to go? Follow the sun. You'll be close enough. But how will we steer? That's so easy, even a woodpecker can do it. All you gotta do is pull the release pin. <laughs> We're hungry now, Counselor Buzz. Yeah, well, you know, a good buzzard scout space cadet learns how to survive on any planet. You gotta hunt for food. Oh, boy, we'll catch a bear for dinner. Sure, a good buzzard scout space cadet spends hours making a trap for the, uh, I spent hours making a trap merit badge. We can cover a hole with palm leaves. Or roll a 10-ton boulder down a hill. Or string up a 50-mile net. <laughs> I think they have now officially earned their sucker merit badge. <laughs> oh, drop a boulder, yeah! Perchance, an incoming net? <laughs> when you're good, you're me. No, it couldn't be. <laughs> What are you little buzzard scouts doing now? At camp, we're supposed to have rides, like canoeing or horseback riding. Or how about a rocket to the moon? Yay! Go get your space helmets and get ready for the last merit badge you'll ever need here on Earth. In T minus ten. Nine. Zero. That's one small step for woodpeckers and one giant leap towards my vacation. <laughs> Take him home. I'll give you all your money back. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. No please. dice. We had a deal. 45 bucks and you'd take care of him for the whole summer. Please, I'll give you triple. <sighs> take everything I got. Just take him back. Please. <laughs> Goodbye, Counselor Buzz. Why so glum, campers? Don't you want to go to the Zack Zobar Summer Space Camp? Yeah, yeah, the Woody! Yay! Soldiers had some tough fights in the court, but nothing like this cold and flu. <laughs> That's right, Doc. I am so sick. 
Get here as soon as you can. Ugh. An Antarctic Core soldier is never supposed to leave his command post. Unless he's just too darn sick to stand up. Now that's not too comfy. Roger, we'll go over and out, Bob. <laughs> yes, sirree. Bob's chicken soup will have her little soldier boy on his feet and feel ready before you can say... <laughs> Smells like penguin. Baba's chicken soup. Ah, <laughs> I gotta get to bed. <laughs> uh, that penguin's running me so ragged. I'm running fever for sure. Oh no! Gotta cool this fever ASAP! <laughs> Huh? You go back here so I can quarantine you in the brig? You can take a little big one! Hmm. Perhaps this calls for a little military strategy. I'll just head that penguin off at the pass and take care of my fever at the same time. Trick I learned in survival training. Now that's a top secret operation done right. allergic to penguins. I need, I need sleep. I need medical attention. I, I, need, I need my mommy. <laughs> now that little tuxedo wearing thief won't be able to steal this hot water bottle without waking me. That's army intelligence. Huh? Doc, thank goodness you're here. Tell me what I got. <laughs> wow! Oof. I knew it. It got to come out, I bet. Okay. I can shake it like a show you. Say, uh... Doc, are these, are these traps really necessary? Well, all right, then. Get on with it. I'll be brave.
down, hogwash! Oh, sorry, Major. Mean, sir. I mean, Major. Sorry, sir. I've been calling for you for the last two hours, hogwash. You're supposed to be on watch command! I was, sir, but then I got so sick, and then I got a fever, and then I broke out in hives, and then this penguin tried to steal my high water bottle, and then I... Hogwash, you're delirious with fever. Hallucinations. Hot water bottle stealing penguins? I'm ordering you back to bed. <laughs>